Hello, and welcome to Oxide Games. We founded the studio in 2013 with our decades of personal experience building some of the most beloved strategy games of all time, like Civilization V. We came together to create something new and innovative in a genre we all love. Ara History Untold is the game we've dreamt of making. Ara is an homage to historical gamers, strategy gamers, Florex gamers. It features all the depth and gameplay fans of this genre love, where you'll explore the world, expand your nation, govern your people, and engage with your rivals on the international stage. But it isn't just more of the same. With Ara, we wanted to challenge some of the preconceived notions about the genre, push it forward in a modern, empowering, and truly compelling and approachable way. For example, we have over 100 instruments on display in the office, which are all things that we purchased in order to add to the soundtrack and expand the game and make it really good. <laughs> Hi, Dan. That's Dan, we started in his basement. It's been an amazing process to see from concept to completion. We started small, building a robust game engine, questioning our design assumptions, and prototyping out features, rediscovering what made us fall in love with strategy games in the first place. The end result is Aura, the historical grand strategy game that presents a living world where you can rule how you want to rule and chart your own path to becoming the most prestigious nation on the planet. For Aura, we knew we needed deep systems with outcomes that encourage exploration and give players the power to experiment and make meaningful strategic choices while still having agency over their playstyle. We also wanted to explore more in different parts of history and give players from around the world the chance to see the game reflect their unique perspective and not just ours. And finally, we knew that for players to feel the impact of their decisions, they would need to see their choices reflected in the game world itself not just through numbers on a menu. One of the first differences you'll see when you dive into Aura is what we call the living world. It's a procedurally generated alternate Earth, bursting with life, an intuitive, authentic, and immersive space, a blank canvas for players to paint the society of their dreams. The living world isn't just a map. It reflects the choices players make over the course of the game. They can see everything from the settling of the wilderness to cultural influence on architecture over time to the thousands of citizens living their lives and reacting to the changes. We want players to feel like they're truly occupying the world, leading their people as they thrive and grow. Core to the vision of Aura is our philosophy of rule how you want to rule. And no feature better exemplifies this than the prestige system. To win a game of Aura, players will compete with their rivals to build the most influential, impressive, and important nation the world has ever known. This is measured by prestige, the player's score that proves their worth as a leader. The prestige system gives players the chance to decide what kind of leader they want to be. Do they want to pursue great works of arts and culture? Military might. Scientific advancement. The choice is theirs. In Aura, there are no set victory conditions. Players get to decide what is most important to them and focus and prioritize on those goals while still being able to win the game. Personally, when I play Aura, I like to build triumphs. Triumphs are our collection of incredible monuments and architectural achievements from throughout human history. Like the Great Pyramid of Giza, they're hard to build, but worth it, giving huge prestige bonuses and game-changing abilities to the nation that constructs them. Another aspect of Aura that I am personally excited about is our crafting system. The crafting system offers a unique challenge to the player that they generally won't see often in the 4X genre. Succeeding at balancing, gathering the right things, turning them into the tools that you need, and then finally getting to the outcome or reward of something like an important improvement or triumph just changes the challenge that exists in Aura compared to other 4X games. Crafting plays out in Aura at a national scale, with players honing and combining the natural resources they harvest into all manner of goods and components. Those are the foundation for everything, from international trade, to improving their cities and citizens' lives, and even manufacturing the weapons necessary to draft military units. The crafting system in Aura encourages thoughtful, advanced planning. It rewards players who can see the strategic outcome of all their collective decisions, and not just the individual ones. I'm proud of the work that's gone into our simultaneous turn system. Many strategy games have players alternate taking turns and reacting to their opponent's moves. In Aura, all players' actions are resolved at the same time, 
This rewards players' ability to navigate uncertainty, to predict and strategically plan for a variety of scenarios in the moment. This system makes Aura just feel more real. In a typical strategy game, once your turn is finished, you have to wait for a long time. With simultaneous turns, generally speaking, those times are very low. You get to keep playing the game and stay engaged rather than having those periods of downtime where you're not doing anything. It's not easy sifting through all of history and picking what to include. For Aura, we wanted to offer a fresh perspective, so we looked at cultures and societies throughout the millennia with the broadest lens possible. Where this approach really shines is in our leaders. Leaders are so often seen as military personnel or prominent government figures, but leaders come in so many different forms. They're thought leaders, scientific and cultural prodigies, and many more. Each leader in Aura has a number of special abilities determined by their personality traits, as well as a powerful and unique leader trait informed by their contributions to world history. With a diverse global roster, we know players will find leaders that they will want to play, and even a few that may surprise them with how fun it is when those leaders are handed the reins of power. For us at Oxide, player feedback is the only way to really understand what you're making. It gives us that priceless perspective from the people we're making Aura for, you. Building the game alongside real players has given us that critical player feedback. In the end, we believe this makes for a deeper connection between the players and the game. One of my favorite examples is when we first introduced the concept of dangerous wildlife to the game. It turns out, in our first iteration, it was maybe a little bit too aggressive or disruptive. We knew we should probably make a change when one of our insiders made a forum post that was just Cougars! 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 I hate cougars! Someone get these feline demons away from me. I'm happy to report, based on more recent feedback, that I think we ended up in a good place with the overall threat level of mountain lions to a player's citizenry. It's been years of hard work to bring you a strategy experience like no other. And we're so excited that we can finally see the finish line. We can't wait for players to get their hands on the game later this year. But the launch of Aura is only the beginning. We are going to maintain our Insider program after the release date and continue to listen to players and support the game into the future. On behalf of everyone at Oxide Games, thank you for joining us today. We can't wait for you to play Aura and to create your own history.